What is meant by an injection attack is that you trick some program that is interpreting a scripting language or something similar on your computer, such as, for example, um, something that is, is going to be interpreting the structured query language, S SQL, database access language. But there are many, many other um, interpreters that, that run and which you can trick in the same sort of way, um, operating system shells, for example, but, but lots and lots of different programs that actually have that sort of interface where they take text and they interpret it to mean something and then act upon it. And an injection attack is, is tricking that interpreter into running something that you've supplied that is, that is illegitimate, that is different from what the application developer intended to happen. And, and here's, a, here's just a, a really trivial example. You, suppose we have a, a web page that asks for a username, and, and I type in my surname, Thomas. What the web page does, because it's now going to look me up in a database, is to drop my name into an SQL line that actually selects my record out of the database. So it drops my name into there, in, in that in that line of SQL, my name gets, gets slotted in. And it's perhaps, if it's not being sanitized, if, it's, if the programmer isn't doing any checks, that's just a copy of some text without any, any consideration of what the text is. It's just an assumption that it's my name. Now, if I put my name in as this rather bizarre sequence of characters, what happens is that you end up with this as the, as the query. And that quote, that quote, closes off the username. The semicolon ends that SQL statement. And now you can run another SQL statement because the interpreter may very well simply carry on reading and be perfectly happy to accept a series of statements. And then. The two minuses at the end are, are a comment indicator, so they, they turn that closing quote, which was the original one from here, uh, into a comment, and therefore it doesn't cause a syntax error, and therefore the program continues to run perfectly happily. But what's it done? It's dropped the user table. In other words, it's deleted that table from the database. So this simple example just destroys the database. You can, you can see that you can, you can use other SQL commands to carry out other actions on the database. For example, selecting all users and gaining their information and having it displayed or copied or, or changing everybody's passwords, for example. <laughs>